Hello team, I hope I find you all well. This is Easy Restorations. If you're new to my channel, where have you been? First and foremost, uh, if you like what you see job-wise, then drop me a like and hit that subscribe button and you'll see anything that's coming up straight away. Right, without further ado, where am I? What sort of situation am I at? I am, I've got the Aerial uh, A3 uh, BSA to finish. I have the barrel and piston. I'm going to go and collect that. And that so that'll be uh, on the burner. So that can be put back together, literally. Uh, I've just got to spray the wheels, pretty much. And then find a way to completely rewire all the electrics. Because it didn't have any. And now it has an electric starter, etc, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Right, so that's that out of the way. I have found an enormous absolutely enormous box up in the loft it's probably four foot long by two foot by two foot sort of square if you like rectangular square rectangle mm, does that work i don't know uh it's full of bubble wrap and i've just gotten it out the loft whilst i was getting my fanny out the loft and i thought to myself well instead of throwing that away why don't you use that for when you strip down the beef burger the Suzuki Bergman Executive 650 and clean all the parts as you take them off, put them in the box up in the loft. That's all the Tupperware, all the fairing and everything. So I can actually get in there to the frame and sort out the rusty bits, uh, well, which I have protected already vaguely. But you really need to get under the skin of that bike to um, put it right, really, to do what you need to do to prolong its life. Now, a friend of mine's just phoned me up uh mr costa hi costa if you're watching and he took me to his shed uh a few weeks ago and showed me a nice pair so he said to me just now do you want that nice pair if so can you click them tomorrow now i'll let you in on it it is something i've not done before it's something that i've always wanted to work on um it is basically uh, a pair of scooters, okay? Now, it's not the ones where you sort of nip down to the shop scooting along with your foot. It is sort of moped style -y. I suppose it looks like, I don't know, Peugeot Street Fighter or something like that. Um, you know, it looks like a 50cc scooter, basically. Um, but these two are electric. Okay, they are... They were brand new... In 2015, 2014, something like that. And in 2016, Costa uh, managed to acquire them because uh, his friend used to buy them in bulk and then sell them on. Uh, but the keys were lost to this last two. So Costa said, hey, I'll give you some money. And he did so. And uh, that was that, really. So he is now moving them on to me. I will be picking them up. They have lead-acid batteries, so it's old-style tech unfortunately um, they will be absolutely crackered i've been sat, sat in this shed in his shed for well many years uh, just baking in the sunlight uh, in the heat and freezing in the winter so they will be absolutely crackered uh, yeah i'm just gonna say the money he wants for them is very reasonable um they weren't the giveaway price they, they were you know uh, it's sort of like a what did I pay for? 160 quid for the pair. That's not bad. Uh, yes, when he put them in storage, you should have WD-40'd all the, all the chrome because they are Chinese at the end of the day. And the forks are pitted and all this kind of stuff. The seal, all the rubbers perished because it's Chinese. And it's just been sat there freezing and burning. So, but overall, the pair, I mean, they're covered in chicken shit and all this kind of stuff you get in like a barn sort of type shed. Uh, they are a mess. They are a proper mess. And some things are broken on on one. Some things are broken on another. But no two parts are broken on the same bike. So I can make a really good one, technically. First of all, using the broken, using the good parts of bike number two to put on bike number one where they are broken. And then I will have a second bike to work on as and when. Uh, and I... Just need to fix. There is basically plastic panel bits that are cracked and broken. 
so it's nothing untoward. Um, there's quite a bit of rust set in, so although they're new, they've literally got like 0.4 miles on, on each clock. So they've never been ridden, apart from that 0.4 miles to test, I guess. So there we go, that's my next uh, project. Cheers, ice cold soda water from the old soda stream with a bit of lemon juice in it, proper lemon juice. On a day like today, it just hits the spot because it is so flipping hot, isn't it? I've had to put that white sheet behind me for, to stop the buddleia burning against the shed. They were actually dying because they were, you can imagine the heat on that shed. Right, so yeah, that's it. I've just got to touch base with you guys because I only posted one last week, but before that I hadn't posted for an awful long time. Uh, thank you for all your comments and your helps and tips over the years. Uh, yeah, I will be getting my finger out, like I say, getting the BSA done, that sorted. Get the, get the Suzuki parts up in the loft and cleaned and prepped, ready to go back on. And then I will do that sort of autumn, winter-ish. Um, but I really do need to get have a really good look at these two scooters you know I'm, you know i'm not sure about the tire condition uh it's chinese rubber isn't it at the end of my well, chinese synthetic rubber which doesn't fare too well as you all know uh, those of you that worked on chinese bikes etc right so yeah it's all looking a little bit exciting here it's all getting up there electric scooters in the easy stables whatever next you know you can't you can't buy a decent scooter for under what two and a half grand something like that upwards well these two like i say 160 quid for the pair if i can make a good one out of the two ace if i can make two out of the two brilliant um they're quite sporty looking things and the decals on the side are they say uh, 2008 but that's not the year of manufacture that's just the year that all the other de all the livery on it uh, uh, relates to, sort of thing. Now I don't know anything about that, but uh, there we go. Uh, okay, uh, I'm excited, really. Uh, it's got like a, they do have like a like a where you would sit on the scooter and between your legs at the front there, where you'd normally have a little hook for a, you know a carrier bag or whatever. It's got a little three pin like a kettle plug hole so i guess it's straight 240 in but i will find out more when i start stripping the things down won't i uh yeah i really can't wait to get my teeth into these little little puppets okay well thanks for looking just thought i'd touch base hope you're all keeping well nice and cool in this stupidly hot weather here in the uk uh 36 again on today and again possibly 37 tomorrow um yeah i'm gonna put my fan back on and have me cold brew. What do you reckon? See you soon, guys. Take care and watch this space for a uh, an electric scooter restoration. Take care, guys. All the breast. <laughs>